your host, Tyler Shemanke, and we're here with Bulldog Mondays. This next segment may just save your life. You ruined the freaking segment! So my name is Willie Giddings. I'm a captain paramedic with Salem Fire Department. I'm uh, one of the folks that help organize the eighth grade uh, CPR in schools program. We, uh, we're here today to try to teach everybody uh, in the eighth grade how to do hands-only CPR. So the reason we're doing that is because 60 to 80% of the time uh, that somebody goes into cardiac arrest, it's in the home. Uh, so it, this happens when 911 isn't near, so we want you guys to start CPR as soon as they uh, go into cardiac arrest. So there's probably more than three, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the biggest thing is push hard and push fast uh, for when you're doing CPR. And we like to remind people the rules of two. So the rules of two are two hands on the center of the chest. We push down two inches come back up two inches, we press two a second, and then we try to switch out our compressors because we get tired every two minutes. The easiest part of our job? Um, I think the easiest part of the job is, is I enjoy interacting with the public. So we get to go out and see folks and that's probably the easiest, easiest part of our job, so. We do, in fact, we talk about it during our eighth grade uh, CPR in schools program is talk about being a firefighter or a firefighter paramedic as part of a, uh, a job. So something that we encourage after high school to look at to be part of, part of the Salem Fire Department. Thank you, CJ and Sophia, for that beautiful segment. Um, I would love for you to save my life, okay? Um, going on to Michaela with pets uh, and why they're good. Did you know that a dog's sense of smell is 40 times better than ours? Or that a cat spends 70% of their life sleeping? There are lots of things we don't know about our pets. Despite not always knowing a lot about them, we still love them. Say you don't have a dog or a cat, but you have a rabbit. When rabbits are happy, they jump around and flick their head and feet. But maybe you don't have a rabbit. You have a hamster. Did you know that hamsters are banned in Hawaii? This is because hamsters can escape, breed, and destroy plants. Okay, well what if you don't have a hamster, or a rabbit, or a cat, or a dog? It's been found that guinea pigs make 11 individual sounds. They're great with communicating. Maybe you have a more exotic pet, a lizard? Some lizards drop their tails when in danger. This is because it can confuse the predator and the lizard can run away and hide. There are so many different types of pets. If you have a pet, be sure to show them how thankful you are for them. Thank you, Michaela. On to Jason's segment about boxing. Let's run it. Will John Ryder retire after his upcoming fight with Canelo Alvarez? John Ryder, a 34-year-old super middleweight British boxer, will meet Canelo Alvarez, another super middleweight in Guadalajara, Mexico, on May 6th. This may be the last chance he'll get to fight for another world title before he is too old to work his way into another mandatory spot. As it turns out, Ryder did lose in the decision on May 6th, but at this point, no words on Ryder's retirement has come out. Time will tell, so stay tuned for future updates. Thank you, Jason. On to King Brownie. What, 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 what? You got what, questions? What, what, what? You what, want answers? What, what, what? Talk to what, King Brownie. What, what? What? He's what, the master. What? 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 My royal bulldog subjects. I am King Browning, your majesty matriculation, your source of omniscient opinion, your, um, uh, as you American bulldogs say, your homie G. <laughs> oh, I rather enjoy that moniker. Usually I get letters from humans, but today we've got one from a dog. Dear King Browning, 
Recently, my best friend told me she didn't want to be my friend anymore. She didn't tell me why and what happened. She just said we couldn't be friends. When I tried to ask why, she ignored me and walked away. What should I do? Signed, Betrayed. Dear Betrayed, I had a friend like that once, so you're not alone. If a friend goes to you randomly and doesn't tell you why, they're not a real friend. A real friend will give you an explanation or try and talk to you about it, not cut you off for no reason. But my motto is, some will, some won't, so what? Next, you know what I mean? I suggest you try and make new friends, ones that you truly trust and are sure will use open communication.